how to get your post-solar bill as low as possible by understanding solar self-consumption and solar exports. Okay, here is a graph taken from the monitoring system on my house. The beautiful yellow curve, that's my solar system. It's a nice day, it's not cloudy. In the morning, the solar generation rises, it peaks at midday, and then it drops off as the sun goes down. The jagged line under the big yellow area, that's my house's consumption. You can see it's not steady, it goes up and down as washing machines switch on, stuff switches off. And as you can see, I've tried to squeeze all that usage into what I call the solar window. When the solar generation is more than my house's usage, we're generating more solar than we need, I'm exporting the yellow area to the grid and I'm earning a feed-in tariff. Where the house consumption is in the solar window, I'm getting that electricity for free because I'm not paying for my solar energy once I've paid off my solar system, of course. Outside the solar window, you'll see the jagged line is colored in red. That's where it's dark. I'm not getting any solar energy, so I'm buying all that electricity from the grid. And I'm paying about 36 cents in South Australia right now to buy electricity from the grid. When I export it into the grid, because I've got surplus solar, I earn about 16 cents. So obviously, it's more valuable to me by 20 cents to self-consume the solar energy than it is to export. So what I've done here quite successfully is I've squeezed most of my usage into the solar window. We have really strong electricity retailer competition across the whole of Australia, apart from, unfortunately, WA, Tasmania, and rural Queensland. You will earn a different amount for your feed-in tariff, quite dramatically by retailers, and different usage rates, again, quite dramatically by retailers. But the secret is balancing the usage tariff with a feed-in tariff. So some retailers will give you a really good feed-in tariff and absolutely hammer you on usage tariffs. Some retailers will give you really quite cheap usage tariffs but give you a shithouse feed-in tariff. So you've got to find the balance and that depends on how much you export and how much you import. And here everyone is unique. So here's how you find the best retailer based on your imports and exports. You wait at least one quarter after you've got your solar. So you have your first bill at least that shows you how much you exported to the grid and how much you imported to the grid. You go to this tool on my website. There, you can enter these amounts into the tool and it will simply rank the retailers based on who would have given you the lowest bill. It's the best way I know of finding the retailer that's gonna give you the lowest bill with solar. Most people don't do this and they're probably paying hundreds of dollars a quarter more than they have to just because they haven't compared retailers. 